when we went down to Texas City to see if we could help. Hi, Mark. Hi. How are you? Nice Good to, to see you. you. You too. I'm Peggy. This is Peggy. Peggy, right. great. She's nice to meet you. Too. Okay. We met Mark and Peggy, who called us about leaning utility poles behind the property. And the poles are back here. Oh, the poles are see. back here. Okay. They took us back to see two poles hanging over an alleyway. And as you can see, it's leaning against power lines. It's being held up by, I guess those are cable lines, but it's really hard to tell for sure. And then that other pole is leaning as well in the same fashion. How long have you been calling about these poles? The past four years I have called, nothing's done. And that's since it's been like this. Saw on the news one night you interviewing another gentleman in Houston for basically the same situation over a sidewalk. And in that case, Comcast sent a crew out to Montrose to take the pole down. But this time, after making a few calls, we learned it was a different company, AT&T, that this Texas City pole belongs to. The company came out and replaced the leaning utility pole and removed a second one from the location. It's safe for them to come in the alley, and I appreciate Channel 11 trying to help us around in this neighborhood. But Mark says he knows it won't be the last leaning pole and worries for others because it's hard to know who to call. What really frustrates me is there's no particular department with a phone number that people can reach out to and give an address and a location of what looks like a dangerous pole.